say apart from that very high level or strong robust security mechanisms are followed one such example is a email encryption technique email encryption refers to the encryption of the email messages to ensure of course confidentiality cause encryptions are the basic solution to maintain confidentiality most of the emails are not transferred in encrypted form which once again helps the attackers to easily uncover them with the help of certain informal tools so email encryption is very important and generally it is based on public key crypto system that is this works with the help of two keys namely the public key and the private key public key is used for encryption of the message and private key is used for the decryption of the message the second robust mechanism is end to end encryption end to end encryption refers to the process where encrypting and decrypting of email messages takes place only at the end points that is with the help of end to end encryption the source and the destination recipients messages are encrypted and they cannot be read by email service providers they are the middle people these encryptions take place when the user composes and sends the messages to the receiver they reach the receiver in the same encrypted form only this encrypted email can only be decrypted with the help of the user's private key some of the standard protocols used for end to end encryption are bit message gnu privacy god pretty good privacy pgp and yes mime that is secure multi purpose internet mail extensions these are some of the solutions available just to see the sample of it we will discuss about one particular end to end encryption standard which is nothing but your open pgp encryption we'll see how that basically uh, works or ensures security <laughs> First of all open pgp is an encryption standard for end to end email encryption based on the public crypto system that means a public key is used to encrypt a file and verify a signature and a private key is used by the owner or the receiver to decrypt and add a digital signature to the file a user can create import and export pgp keys through a feature called go anywhere which is nothing but a key management system here keys are protected and organized into key walls for secure access controls getting the key pair that is a public private it's known as a key pair is easier and it just follows the following steps first of all you have to download gpg4 win this is a free software with a set of encryption packages and tools for mac users you can check out gpg suite which is advisable second you can install the gpg4 win that is Make sure GNU PG, the actual encryption package, and Kiliopetra, that is the user interface, they are installed. The other components are optional. Third one, once everything is installed, find the Kiliopetra program on the computer and open it. Fourth one, go to the file tab and select the new certificate. Fifth one, since the user wants PGP keys, select. create a personal open pgp key pair next if one wants to attach a key to one's identity either real or fake then information is entered here otherwise this step can be skipped next you can visit the advanced settings and make sure 
RSA is selected. As we discussed earlier, RSA is the asymmetric cryptographic algorithm. Change the default 2048 to 4096. This is the level of encoding that makes the encryption very very tough and untraceable and does not slow down the it does not slow down the normal use. Next, click OK to exit the setting menu and then click next to start creating the key. The program now generates thousands of random characters to make user keys and will ask for a passphrase. This is unrecoverable so it should not be forgotten. Now the user has a public and a private key. If the user wishes then backup of this key is stored in a separate file somewhere through email publicly. This public key can be uploaded. Next the user can generate a file with public key by right clicking the icon export. There are several ways to view that but it makes it easy to access the public key whenever the user wants without the need uh, to use Cleopatra. Choose where to save the file. It will be generally saved as an ASCII file with .asc format. Then open up any text editing app like your notepad. Go to the file and then open. Set the file type to all files and find the public key file where one saved it. Once again open it up with text editor to see the public key. Finally, the user can export his private key by the following instructions. The same process by selecting export. Make sure that it is stored in a safe location or just keep it inside Cleopatra where it is perfectly accessible to the user. PGP of course is safe only if private key remains private. If anyone gets their hands then they will be able to read anything that is encrypted with a public key. Depending on how secure one wants to be, the key should be kept on a hard drive or put them on a secure form of removable storages like your encrypted USB drives. So this is one case where how uh, email security can be ensured through end-to-end -end encryption process. Some of the end user email security practices are avoid opening unwanted links and attachments from unknown senders first and foremost. Next, create strong passwords and change them on regular basis. Third, passwords should not be shared even with colleagues. Fourth, check whether sensitive information is sent only to intended receivers with the help of spam filters. Next, use proper antivirus software to block the vulner vulnerabilities. Next, use private software such as a VPN virtual private network instead of a public Wi-Fi connection to access corporate email over personal remote devices. By practicing all this, one can definitely ensure email security. So proper implementation of email security measures helps the user as well as the organization to eradicate email security risks. Proper education and real-time practices taught to the employees will definitely safeguard the organization from major loss. So dear learners, so far in this module, we have discussed about the web security and the email security which are very important from the user's perception because most of the individuals use the web services as well as emails for our communications. So the best strategies and practices discussed here will definitely 
protect us from unwanted risks. Thank you. Thank you.